hand. Doubt better leave, I'm running with this plan. Pull me, grab me, crabs in the bucket, can't have me. I'll be the president one day, January 1st. Oh, you like that guy? Sip, like you the one drinking what God sip. Dot com. Now I got a word for your tongue. How many rolling stones you want? Yeah, I got a brand new spirit speaking and it's done. Woke up on the side of the bed like I won. Talk like the wind in my chest to that sun. G5 in the US to Taiwan. Now who can say that? I wanna play back. Mama knew I was a needle in a haystack. Oh, body boy, plus me back. I got a feeling it's a rap. Hey, sound. On Saturday, February 12th, the Pitt State men's and women's basketball teams completed a sweep of Lincoln University. With the women taking a 78-73 victory over the Blue Tigers, sealed when Brooke Conley blocked a three-point attempt on one end of the court and drew the foul on a made bucket on the other end in the game's closing seconds. While Conley was the hero at the end of the game, the freshman Lizzie Geronimus stood out overall dropping a career-best 28 points and leading the Gorillas to tie the school record for wins in a season at 22. We talked about it but when we were coming out of the huddle, CT said, if they try to get the ball to a shooter, switch. Nobody switched, so <laughs> I just seen Freddie. I ran out there in hopes that she wouldn't make it. So thank God for long arms. <laughs> well, we were really supposed to switch, and we were late on the switch, so uh, all I saw was Freddie Sims, and all of us were sitting over there because she shoots 47% on the season. From threes and uh, she's hit a couple game winners this year one down at Southern and um, when she got the ball we're all like oh no because she's at the three-point line and then here comes Brooke just flying out of nowhere um, and made the big big play of the game it's awesome the impressive game by Lord's team was followed up by Kevin Muff and the Gorilla men who built a solid second half lead and waltz to a 72 to 61 victory snapping a four game losing streak Eric Ray led three Gorillas in double figures with 18 points, 16 of which came in the second half, while Javon McGee came in off the bench to contribute 16 points of his own. Well, it's a, a, we've talked a lot with our guys over the last little streak we've had of four losses about rewarding yourselves, and it's nice to be rewarded. And, um, did we play our best tonight? No, but I thought at times we did some really good things. I, I thought defensively against some guys who have proven they can score in this league. It, you know, it doesn't matter what your record is, and I know they're not having the best of year, but um, they, they are very talented, and there's some talented guys who can score the ball, and we did a pretty good job of keeping them either under their average or right at their average, and so I was very pleased defensively with um, our effort and how we, how we guarded, man, especially man-to-man, -man, but then out there our zone was pretty effective against them too. The teams will be back in action next Wednesday when they host Emporia State at home, with the women's game set to begin at 5.30 p.m. and the men's contest to follow. 